Hi, in this video, we are going to learn how to do synthetic division. So at the end of this, uh, you'd be able to correctly divide polynomials using synthetic division and properly express the quotient of two polynomials using synthetic division. So synthetic division is a short method of dividing polynomials. Um, in our previous lesson, we had a uh, division of polynomials using long division method. It's quite long, so we have this uh, synthetic division to help us in dividing polynomials. Um, this is uh, like a sh shortcut or a short method for that. So it makes use of the coefficients of the dividend and the divisor. Um, example, the numbers uh, of the right shows how 3x cubed minus 5x minus 2 is divided by x minus 3. Ito yan, no? This is an example of the synthetic division. Uh, the result is 3x squared plus 9x plus 22 plus 64 over x minus 3. So, bakit ganyan? Paano ito nakuha? Alright? So, let's have this example. Divide x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 1 by x minus 2 using synthetic division. Take note that we have here a linear um, linear uh, equation or linear expression for uh, the divisor. So when we say linear, the exponent ng x is 1. Okay, 1, linear. So um, here... Right, we write the coefficients of the dividend and the divisor. This is our dividend. Okay, this is our divisor. Ang divisor natin, take note, um, linear muna tayo. Ibig sabihin yung exponent niya ay 1. Um, arrange the coefficients of the dividend in descending powers of the variable. Descending powers, so we have 3. Yung variables, uh, exponent ng variable ha. So that's 3, 2, 1. And then we have here 0, a constant term. Okay? So, 3, 2, 1, 0. In cases na merong, um, merong missing powers, example, um, 3, tapos, um, biglang walang ito, walang, walang 2 na power, diretso sa 1. So, in that case, we replace this as 0. Okay? So, we write 0x to the power of 2 or 0x squared. Okay? But in this case, completo ang powers niya. We have 3, 2, 1, and then 0. Completo. So, we write the coefficients. The coefficient of x cubed is 1. So, we write here 1. The coefficient of x squared is negative 3. So, we write negative 3. Coefficient of x is positive 1. So, positive 1. Coefficient of um, x to the power of 0 is negative 1, so we have negative 1, or simply the constant term, okay, negative 1. And then, based on the divisor, we solve for the value of x, okay, value of x. So, we have x minus 2 equals 0. And so, solving for x, x equals 2. So, we have here 2, we write that number here, 2. So starting with the uh, with this method, we can go ahead and um, do the synthetic division. So bring down one, okay, and then next we multiply. We multiply this. So one times two, and we put the answer here two. Take note, this is always blank here, okay? Bakanti yan. So and uh, perform the necessary or perform the indicated operation. Disregard the underlines here. I don't know how to erase them. Um, kanina yan, ano? So, negative 3 plus 2. So, that is negative 1. And then, uh, do, uh, repeat, just repeat the process. So, do it again, the multiplication. So, negative 1 times 2, that's negative 2. And then, perform the indicated operation positive and negative. So, um, subtract. So, we have negative 1. And then, multiply again, negative 1 times 2, that's a negative 2. And then, do the uh, indicated operation, negative, negative. So, I add the end, so we have negative 3. Take note that the last number here is your remainder. The last number is your remainder. And this is the coefficient of the first term. Okay, coefficient of the first term of your quotient. 
So, when you write your quotient, or yung sagot, okay, yung quotient ninyo, uh, that would be, uh, okay, I'm using my mouse here. So, th the quotient is, eto siya, ang coefficient niya ay 1. Take note, kung coefficient niya ay 1, um, and we have a variable, hindi na natin nilalagay yung 1, okay? Diretso na sa variable. And take note, your quotient must be um, 1 less than the exponent of the dividend. So, dahil ang exponent niya dito ay 3, yung quotient natin ay less um, less than 1. So, that's minus 1. So, x, uh, x squared na tayo mag-uumpisa. Okay? So, the answer is x squared. And then, we have minus... Um, x because 1 yan so negative 1 and then we have minus 1 that's the constant term and then our remainder since it's negative 3 so that would be minus 3 over yung divisor natin x minus 2 so that's x minus 2 so this is now our quotient okay this is our quotient so, that's just for the synthetic division. Let's have another example. Yeah. Okay. Find the quotient and remainder when x, 4x to the power of 4 minus 7x squared plus 7x minus 6 is divided by 2x minus 1. So, take note here, we have missing powers. 4 na siya. Tapos naging 2. So, walang 3. Diba? Missing powers ang 3. So, maglalagay tayo ng 0 dyan. And take note here, meron tayong 2. Okay? May coefficient. Na, ang coefficient ng x dito ay 2. Right? So, we are going to solve for the value of x later. Okay? So, let's solve for this. We write the coefficients of the dividend of the divisor. So, we have here 4. Kaya merong 4. Dahil walang uh, yung 3, power ng 3, so maglalagay tayo ng 0. And then we have for 2, we have negative 7. And then we have for 1, we have 7. And the constant term is negative 6. Okay? So let's go ahead and uh, solve for x. So we have 2x minus 1 equals 0. And so we have 2x equals Yung negative 1, magiging positive 1. We divide both sides by 2. And so, we have x equals 1 half. Alright. So, we write here 1 half. First step, again, bring down 4. Once again, dapat blank yan dyan. And then, you multiply 4 times 1 half. So, magiging 4 over 2. And that's just 4 divided by 2. That's uh, 2. And then we have 0 plus 2, that's 2. And then 2 times 1 half, so magiging 2 over 2, that is just 1. Diba? 2 divided by 2 is 1, so 1. And then we have negative 7, we have positive 1, so magiging negative 6. Then negative 6 uh, times 1 half, so magiging negative 6 over 2. So ang sagot ay negative 3. We have positive 7, negative 3, so that would be 4. 4 times 1 half, so magiging 4 over 2, so ang sagot ay 2. And then, we have negative 6, positive 2, magiging negative 4. Meaning, our remainder, the remainder is negative 4. And the coefficient of uh, the first term is 4. So, take note our answer or the quotient. Our answer or the quotient is 4. And then, the power of x is 1 less than the um, the highest exponent in the dividend. So, we have here 4. So, it should be 3 in our quotient. Okay. x to the power of 3 plus 2. x to the power of 2. Pasunod na yan. And then, minus 6. x. Then, we have the constant term is 4. Positive 4. We have the remainder, minus 4. Over, always over the divisor. The divisor is 2x minus 1. So, that's 2x minus 1. So, this is now our quotient.